Hello and welcome, members of the LGL Draft League and others who are not members of the LGL Draft League and are somehow watching these videos or know about them. I don't know, I'm not promoting them. Welcome to the T to the 5th tournament shoutcasting commentary thing, where I talk about the teams, watch the replays, um, talk about, uh, criticize people relentlessly, get really sad when people mega evolve a Sableye to lose Prankster, or sack a Tyranitar to give Excadrill sand rush boosts in the last games at all, for, for all the marbles. Ah, I'm screwing with you guys. Okay. Um, so we're looking at Epsilon versus CEO of Cheese World. Probably our... Our amateur match, if you will. CEO is new to the format of Showdown entirely. Epsilon has some experience. He's been with the LGL for two seasons. Um, hasn't quite had his breakout season quite yet. Still getting a couple things down. So, it's going to be an interesting fight. A fun exhibition for... CEO, our new player, our newest player on the server, and Epsilon, a player who's got some really good nicknames. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, starting off, we got like Gregory, Todd, and Anna Montana. Okay, let's just get right into the teams. Uh, Epsilon packing grass and poison. First up, Grass, we have a Superior with Leftovers, Overgrow, Calm, Calm Mind, Glare, Giga Drain, Dragon Pulse. I would be absolutely, I'd be like, wow, this is a really nice Calm Minder, Leftovers, Overgrow, can get some boosts, but Superior gets Contrary, and like, this could be like a Leaf Storm. This could be like a leech seed or a substitute. I just feel like this could be a little bit better used as that more sweeping <laughs> superior. You done? Okay. Our special guest star, my dogs. Um, I just feel like it could be better served as a more sweeping superior. But... All things considered, I actually really like this Combine Glare set. That's It gives it a lot of opportunities to set up with the leftovers and the good bulk. I think it's actually a pretty good set. Up next, we've got Ferrothorn with Expert Belt. Iron Barbs, bulky attack, special attack. No speed IVs to boost up that Gyro Ball. And we got Iron Defense Body Press. You know, I would actually be... I actually really think this set's cute. Uh, Thunderbolt's kind of gimmicky. and I, But I like this set in general as sort of like an offensive Ferrothorn. I'm down for the gimmick. But Body Press is really bad in this matchup because he's up against Ghost and Bug, both of which are either resistant or immune to Body Press. So this is not the time to be whipping out this really cute Ferrothorn set. I think you want a standard spike stacking Ferrothorn for this game. But we'll see how it works out. We got Big Lad, the Mega Venusaur, another Overgrow user. <laughs> uh, max Special Attack, Match Speed with Naive, because we're at 4 attack with that Earthquake. That's enough! Um, I ditched the Earthquake here. You're up against Bug, who resists, and Ghost, who's neutral. Uh, I'd much rather just be able to stick to Special Attack and be able to go Modest or Timid. That's enough! Uh, modest or timid, I, I just... I think Naive's too much of a sacrifice for this seemingly meh Earthquake. Not a huge fan, but Toxic Energy Ball, Sludge Bomb, Special Attacking Ve Mega Venusaur, can't go wrong. Another Pokemon that I just think is here at the wrong time. Toxic Orb, Poison Heal, Breloom. With Bulk Up, Adamant, kind of bulky, Drain Punch, Focus Punch, Seed Bomb. That's... Lovely! Resi immune to fighting, resist fighting. I love this Breloom set! 
against anybody else. Not the ghost player. Um, it's a great set. I really like it. Bulk up drain punch. That's that's great. That's a cool set. Breloom's awesome. I love it. But mm, timing is key here. This Appleton's solid. Uh, Mago Berry plus Ripen, huge longevity with that 248 HP, 8 special defense, massive special attack with Modest, Apple Acid, Dragon Pulse, Draco, Meteor, Recover. Yeah, that's just a nuke of a Pokemon. Uh, then we have the Calm Mind Power Herb Solar Beam, which I think is pretty cute. Uh, you could really catch some things off guard if, you know, Bug didn't resist grass. But, uh... And then he's got Psychic, Combine Psychic, that he can spam after he uses his power. Yeah, seems alright. Um, let's take a look at this Poison team. We've got, what is this thing, the Toxapex with Leftovers. Um, I actually really like this Toxapex set. I've been dishing on, ki on his more unique sets. First of all, this should be a Black Sludge. That's enough. Uh... This should be a black sludge. It is strictly better, but only minimally, and I'm not going to be a bitch about it. For anybody out there who's watching, um, the reason you run black sludge on your poison types and not... Oh, wait! Nope. Uh, oh, yes, that is correct. He has two black sludge users already. Good on him. This is actually not a waste of a slot. Because he's running mono poison, he gets access to virtually four leftovers because of the two item clause I hold on my tournaments. <laughs> so poison has another benefit here. But this is a merciless pex instead of regenerator. I like merciless pex. I like toxic liquidation poison jab. That's cool. This is like it this is like uh almost choice band toxapex. Stop it. It's like almost choice band toxapex and it gets toxic spikes. That's cool. Uh, toxic spikes are not gonna do. They're not gonna be helpful here, especially when Siren is running no hazard removal. And we'll get into the set soon. Um, and then we have Swarm Scolipede. Uh, this should be this should be speed boost. It's so busted. You could run Adamant here if you were speed boost. Why are you doing this? Stop barking. And then you get Mega Horn. Well, Mega Horn is resisted by Ghost. Um, and you really don't have anything to make up for it, but Earthquake, Aqua Tail, Poison Jab. Yeah, works. It's functional. I wish it was Speed Boost. Other than that, it's fine. Uh, Expert Belt on the Gengar with the Timid Nature with Nasty Plot Shadow Ball, Sludge Wage. This Energy Ball should probably be a thunder uh, Thunderbolt, but. Yeah, this set's fine. Are you done? Okay. Uh, Garbodor. <laughs> Stop interrupting me! Okay? Okay. Garbodor, bulky, lots of HP, lots of special defense, toxic, toxic spikes, another toxic, toxic spike. Yeah. Toxic, toxic spiker. Um. Notably, Steel does give him access to Ega Slash and some other. I mean, uh, Bug actually is running a bunch of steals, but his ghost team, very vulnerable to toxic spikes. And then stockpile, ah, I mean, I guess I can fire off more gun shots. Sure. Expert Belt Salazzle with Dragon Pulse Flamethrower, another just basically the same as that. Is it's it's kind of in duo? Is this just a team in duos? We've got. Uh, f all out physical attackers with with black sludge and the crowbat. Although this has roost and it's adamant, so it's actually kind of slow. There's no speed investment. Brave bird, poison fang, steel wing, and roost, and then a black sludge physical attacker and scolipede. Then we have leftovers bulky toxic <coughs> toxic spiker with a poison move in toxapex and garbador. And then we have three attack, nasty plot, expert belt, special sweepers that carry uh, moves with the word sledge in them. 
and are timid with the exact same EV spread. This is just the same three. They're just three. <laughs> um. I, I, anyways, I like the team. I actually really like this Crobat set. If it had some speed investment, I'd be so down for this Crobat with the Brave Bird, the Poison Fang. Love it. Steel Wing. Yeah, I just really like this Crobat set. Let's move on to CEO's teams. Remember, he's newer, so we're gonna we're gonna give some advice. <laughs> okay, Shell Bell. Shell Bell is not a good item. Um, it's all right. It has very niche purposes. It doesn't heal enough usually to be worth it. But if you ain't if you're gonna put it anywhere, it's probably fine here. But for God's sake, run Thick Club. You're running Alolan Marowak. Thick Club doubles your attack stat. You've got to run Thick Club. Um, this is something we need to talk about. For the most part, you want to max your EVs. It's how you get value out of them. Sure, diversity is nice, but you're not getting the most out of your stats. And you, you don't need special defense, saying Relaxed nature. You want Thick Club, you want attack, you want... A little bit of bulk. Fire Punch should pro. Uh, you get Rock Head, so this should be Flare Blitz. Iron Head's fine, Low Kick's fine, Shadow Bone's fine, but I would really like Earthquake here for Poison. The move set's fine. Uh, Rocky Helmet, Trevenant, nothing inherently wrong there. Again, I really do think you want to standardize your EVs. Quiet's interesting. Uh, Will O Wisp Hex. That's actually just a really, this is just a pretty good set. Uh, energy Ball's kind of redundant. I might want, like, Leech Seed or something. But, yeah, this is just a good set, other than the kind of wonky IVs. Uh, EVs, pardon me. Mimikyu, Leftovers, Disguise. Yeah. Um, that EV spread with Brave Nature. Swords Dance... Woodhammer, which is resisted by both these types. Play Rough, which is resisted by this type. And Toxic, which, uh, yeah, this is this, this set does nothing against Poison. Literally nothing. I mean, it seems alright against Grass, other than this is a dead move. You want Shadow Sneak if you can use it. Uh, Toxic's probably not necessary. You want to be able... Mimikyu's really more of a setup with Swords Dance because of that disguise. It's really not a Toxic setter. And Woodhammer is just not well situated here. And again, just standardize. Uh, AV Dragapult with the mix set. Um, this is the first time I'm gonna get to bring up. Don't use mix sets; they suck. Uh, mix sets. If you're wondering why mix sets are bad in general, it's because a, it's mostly because of natures and also because of EVs. For the most part. If you're making an attacker, you want to max your attacking stat and max either your speed or your health. Whether you're bulky an attacker or a fast attacker. With a mix set, you that mean that leaves you with putting four in whatever stat isn't your main, and then your nature is gonna have to reduce your bulk. So it just makes you less bulky. Uh, less potent as an attacker, um, and all you're getting, and you're getting Psychic Fangs, which is good coverage here, but if you're just gonna do it, just go physical. Dragapult has a pretty good physical move set, and, I mean, you can go AV, it, you could also just go, like, Choice Band. Uh, Red Card Rotom, uh, got Will-O-Wisp, synergizes with that Trevenant, again. Uh, another defensive nature. A lot of quiet and brave nature. Um, and relaxed. A lot of very defensive natures. Uh, levitate. Hits Discharge. Dark Pulse. Volt Switch. This is actually a pretty good set. Red card's wonky. I'd rather have something like a Life Orb or an Expert Belt or even a Choice Scarf. Even with this Will-O-Wisp is probably fine. I would rather have something... I'd probably rather just have Shadow Ball in this slot for Stab, but yeah, this is a pretty good set, other than the EVs. You're just not getting enough value out of these EVs. 
again, mixed. This should just be a physical attacker. That's generally the case with Delmize. It just hits a lot harder on the physical side. And this Muddy Water is bringing you so little here. I guess, I mean, Shadow Ball Poltergeist exists, which is just better. Uh, Sludge Wave, you could be using a Grass Move. Well, Grass Moves are bad here. But there's just options that keep you from having to split your EVs like this and be stuck with just a uh, jack-of-all-trades master of none. And then we'll take a look at this bug team. We've got normal gem explosion. Uh, okay, I like normal gem explosion. I think it's really cute. It would be a lot better if this was a 252, but at least it's adamant. Normal gem explosion, that deals some damage. Payback, I get it, it hits ghosts. Attract, toxic spikes. I think this set's actually competent. No, I'm not even going to say competent. This set's good. We, now we got a mild scissor. With, again, just not getting your value here. Uh, but I like the set. Psycho Cut, Aerial Ace, Bug Bite. That's good move set. Uh, technician, Mega, yeah, that's just a good Scizor, minus this. But new players, it, it's hard to get EVs, and I know, for God's sake, I try to balance my EVs, it just makes you worse. Quiver Dance, Bug Buzz, Fiery Dance, Light Screen should probably be something like Psychic or something that can hit um, Poison types a little bit better. Although you have Fiery Dance. Uh, light Screen could probably... No, no, you don't want Giga Drain. No, Light Screen's not actually that bad. Uh, and Heavy Duty Boots, that's about right. This is a fine set, again, other than this. Yeah. And not always... I'm not saying you always max out your EVs. But if you're putting specific numbers in an EV, you need to be doing it for a reason. There needs to be something you're going after that... You, there needs to be, like, something you survive if you have this much defense, something you kill if you have this much attack, uh, or something you have speed if you have this much speed. That's really the only reason you want to mix. Unless you're going for, like, a mixed bulk thing. But even then, you're usually going to max out your HP. Um, this Rabombi... It's closer to maxed out EVs and modest. It's got leftovers. Uh, Dazzling Gleam, yeah. Reflect, sure. Psychic, hits poison, sure. Hidden Power Fighting. Ah. Uh, you have Bug Buzz. It would give you grass coverage. It's super effective. In power fighting is resisted by poison and neutral against grass. <sighs> Moving on. Uh, Uncrustable number five, we've got uh, Choice Specs Vicavolt. Again, just max it out, please. 100 speed is not going to outspeed anything with a Vicavolt, it's slow. But Thunderbolt, Bug Buzz, Volt Switch, Air Slash, that's a good set. Air Slash hits grass types that might be neutral to bug, like grass poisons. Um, and this electric coverage is good against poison, and Volt Switch can get things in. And then there's the Glycopod. Starts out pretty well. We've got... Well, no, it doesn't. It starts out with this. Which is like... Yeah, you'll notice 180 special attack. Off is its 60 special attack stat. So we got Sword Stance, we got Razor Shell, which is pretty normal. Razor Shell should probably be Liquidation. At this point, you're like, okay, we just add First Impression or Leech Life or something. No. And then we have, uh, no, 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 no First Impression. Hail Blizzard. You hail, and then you can blizzard, and you have Icium Z. I actually, if I'm being entirely honest, if this hail was a first impression, I'd be kind of okay with this set. Icium Z blizzard could really catch something with a bit of special attack investment. This could actually be a really interesting mix set. 
Hail's not worth it, though. Just be first impression. Or, like, X scissor or something. And this should be liquidation. But other than that, uh, this set, it's, the hail is, like, a little triggering, but, um, all in all, this, these teams look like they were made by someone who's getting used to showdown. Um, it's just a whole different beast than what it, than what the main games teaches you. It's not about cute thing. It's it's a lot less about cute things like explosion, normal gem, and a lot more about cute things like yeah, it's strong, interesting synergy. Uh, hit that level twenty hit on top is it's a highly synergistic spice rather than dumb spice. You know, it's got to have spice with thought. And these two teams just look like they were designed to be grass and poison teams. Not super fitted for the matchup, but they look fine. I mean, neither of them screams out to me as fundamentally flawed other than a couple, like, uh, interesting ability choices that I think are probably less than optimal. But I definitely give the edge to the grass poison here. Uh, so let's see what happens. We've got Ghost versus Poison. This should be a neutral match. Actually, Ghost resists Poison. So this should be good for CEO of Cheese World named Lethal Dose of Llama, which is a fantastic nickname. That's that's really good. Let's see what we got. Let's do this mix. Toxpex comes in. Frisks the leftovers. Switches in. Good switch to Salazzle here. Eats the Will-O-Wisp very nicely. Mimikyu. Nasty Plot's up. That's a threat. Switches out the Mimikyu for Poltegeist. Wait, Poltegeist? This, this doesn't have a Poltegeist. Um, this has a Dragapult, which is so much better. Um, okay, well, it's fine. Poltegeist just dies. Rotom comes in, hits, gets, gets burnt alive by Flamethrower. His Salazzle is really fast, and Rotom is less fast. Marowak comes in, goes, takes 63, uh, Dragon Pulse gets disabled, and Shadowbone does 50. What's funny is, uh, that would have killed if he had Thick Club. Just saying. Or, you know, Earthquake. Earthquake would have also helped there. Delmize comes in, gets burned alive. I don't see why he's not bringing a Mimikyu. It could at least hit, like, a player off. I well, no, they're, both of its moves are four times resisted by the Salazzle, aren't they? Yeah. Player off will probably do more because of Stab, but it did, yeah, 16. Salazzle's just picked up a nasty plot and bowled over this team. Um... As you heard, there were some things that could have definitely been done differently there. This th this being Thick Club or Carrying Earthquake obviously would have made a difference. Dr an AV Dragapult probably would have been able to brick wall this Salazzle. Oh no, it would have gotten blasted by Dragon Pulse. Expert Belt revealed Flamethrower. And in 12 turns, uh, CEO of Cheese World loses his first ever match 6-0. Brutal. Looks like we had a game three. I did. We, uh, no, this is the six L. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Oh, there was a game three. Pardon me. Okay. So sorry to spoil that. We've got grass versus bug. Is the two left. Bug 
obviously has a massive type advantage here. Superior is going to be the lead. It's a Dragon Pulse for virtually nothing. And eats an Air Slash for 94%. Uh, Bug Buzz would have killed. But, you know, it's fine. Uh, the second air and also wouldn't have had a chance of missing. Yeah, Bug Buzz would have been better there. Um, but you saw him Air Slashing. You probably want to switch to Pharaoh at that point. Uh, Pharaoh... Pharaoh Thorn. Ripen, Mago Berry heals... Wow, Jesus, that's a lot of life. Apple Acid does dog shit damage. Air Slash takes out Appleton. Vikavolt just breaking through the team. Hannah Montana just just Verathorn would have worked. I uh, actually no, Celebi makes is a pretty smart switch there. Takes out the Vikavolt. Brings in Fortress. Um and Explodes, yep, and does 79. Yeah. Yeah. Explosion's not a good move. It, it just, it's just not. Yep. I don't want Calm Mind. Psycho Cut, uh, almost certainly dealing... Well, no, Bug Bite's neutral. Yeah, no, Psycho Cut's probably fine here. Just trading off damage. Uh, into the Psycho Cut, you could probably switch in Pharaoh. It does resist. So, yeah, Pharaoh is probably the switch there. And I'm guessing, yeah, it comes in now. Iron Defense, well... Well, now he Mega Evolves, so he's dealing... 14% on the crit. Uh, Thunderbolts, I would have... I mean, if you're going to run Iron Defense, that's the turn to use it. Aerial Ice does 23 and kills Symbias of Iron Barbs. Comical. Thunder. Uh, Thunderbolt, Ferrothorn. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Epsilon is a big Volk fan, and Volcarona is going to take out the rest of Epsilon's team and send us to game three. Featuring Phil. Apparently there is a Phil in this game. Uh, I'm really hoping Epsilon's bringing Poison here versus Bug. Yep, that's about the match I was expecting. I like Poison's... Uh, let's go! Like Poison's Odds, uh, sets up the light screen on the t Toxic Spikes. Bug Buzz does absolutely nothing. Leftovers heals him back up to... Oof, those Toxic Spikes are also not going anywhere. Although, it does only hit two Pokemon. Uh, the Rabombi and the Glycopod are the only two that are grounded and not Heavy Duty Boots. Glycobod comes in, is going to go for a Razor Shell, very telegraphed, into the Toxapex, and Blizzard Razor Shell is not good coverage you staying in. He hails, oh god. Blizzard is resisted! It's not going to work! Also, all of his attacks are going to be crits, first let's say that he gets switched out, his emergency exit. Doesn't even get to use the blizzard. How unfortunate. Um, Sax Toxapex when it's his best switch into Volcarona? Um. Okay. I, uh, Dark Dragon Pulse is gonna deal less because it's not stab. But Fiery Dance is resisted. Sludge Bomb deals a little bit more. Light screen goes up, Sludge Bomb kills Volcarona, probably... God, is he gonna try and go off with Hail again? No, he's just gonna hit a Razor Shell. Take out Salazzle. This seems, yep, Gengar comes in here, that's what I expected. Takes out the Galisopod with a well-timed Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball's not gonna do a whole lot because of Light Screen. 
And then Psycho Cut obliterates. Brave Bird deals 58. I shan't lose here. Shant into you? Critical hits all around with that. I mean, I guess Psycho Cut does have a boosted crit chance. Probably should have just gone for Brave Bird. You would have dropped, but it was worth it. Um, this, uh, this looks like it's gonna be CEO. I think they're gonna pick up the win. Uh, Gunk Shot needs to poise. Oh, he outspeeds. Yeah. Actually, no, I think this is gonna be Epsilon winning. Phil is thick. And I think he is gonna come in clutch. Psychic only dealing 41. And Phil hits the gunk shot, and he would have been able to heal up and hit go for another one. CEO loses his first ever match, but he's not done yet. We'll see him in the loser's bracket coming up next week against... Do -do -do. I believe it should be... Chicken? Yes, no. Weebo, he's up against, he's next week up against Weebo. Um, uh, you see me plugging my previous video. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go watch Shoutcasting of Garrett vs. Chicken. It's a great video. And as for this video, I'm going to be signing off right now. Thanks for watching. This has been, uh, the go Goose Nest? Goose, Goose Cave? Goose honkage. The Goose Dome! Okay, yeah, that works. This has been the Goose Dome. Thank you for watching.